god. No. No, 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 no! vlog. Today I'm excited to bring you kind of a special vlog to Robert and my heart. It's probably my second story time I think. I've done the first story time of Shotzi's adoption. So today I figured I would let Robert take over the vlog and tell you the story of Shiner's adoption. Um, I have to say I think Shiner's adoption is probably my favorite. Shotzi's was pretty easy but there was a couple little bumps in the road with Shiner, so that just made getting him even better. So technically he's Robert's dog, so I'm going to let Robert take it away. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, so, back when I was young, my parents and I moved out to the country where they live now. And uh, part of that move was that I, I got a dog, because I, I really wanted a dog. And at our original house, it just really wasn't feasible. Um, and so I got a, a black lab black lab chow mix, no, just a black lab named Midnight, um, and he was a cute, adorable dog, and he was he and I were really close, I raised him pretty much from a puppy almost, when I was like in third grade, and I had him all the way through the end of my freshman year of college, so um, after my freshman year of college, you know, I was home and I was working, uh, and, that, and then um, Midnight passed away that summer, which was really sad, um, you know, losing a dog, as I'm sure a lot of people know, it's it's not fun. It hurts a lot. Um, and so, I, you know, I wanted, I knew at some point that I wanted another dog. I just didn't know when, how, or who. But, you know, I've always loved black labs. And um, so another couple of years go by, and uh, about a year ago from now, you know, I realized that I wanted a dog, you know, I wanted another dog, and I wanted a black lab, you know, male black lab if I could swing it. I think he really liked the idea of having a bigger dog because we had Shotzi, and Shotzi's a little princess and she's my dog. So he kind of wanted his own dog that was a bigger dog that reminded him of the relationship that he had with Midnight. So I think black lab was it. That was like his one requirement. Yeah. Um that's true. And so, you know, Mallory and I were looking around and looking at different dogs. And Mallory was looking uh, again at the Paws shelter in Kyle. And um, we we're looking through it. And she showed me a few dogs here and there. And then we saw a Shiner. And um, it was almost love at first sight, honestly, with him. Um, he was, you know, he'd been in there a while. He was, you know, owner surrendered. And he'd been in there a while already, and he was a little bit older, which I was, you know, I was okay with. And so we decided to go down and, or go up, and, and you know, see him and whatnot. And that's, that's when I really fell in love with him. So I got to meet him and, you know, see him. And he was, you know, he wasn't quite warmed up to me yet, but he was still, you know, nice. And there's a cute picture somewhere of yes. me holding I him. I will put that in right about here. So I decided, you know, okay, this, this, is, this is doable. And, um, you know, then I started trying, you know, do the paperwork and talk to my, the apartment complex I was living in at the time. And, um, that's when things took a turn for the worse. Um, I had some complications with the apartment complex that I just, I couldn't get around. What was the weight limit at your apartment complex? It was 60 like pounds or something? 50, it was 50 pounds. And so Shiner he was over the, 63 at that point. He was over the weight limit and it just, I couldn't. You know, I couldn't get around that. Some complexes are like, oh, you know, whatever, it's a dog. Uh, they were real strict about everything, and so I wasn't wasn't able to get around that. We um, tried everything too. We even thought about him living with me, the dog living with me. Um, it just, we tried everything, but it just wasn't gonna work. So I was like, okay, well, obviously it wasn't meant to be. You know, we'll move on from there. Um, <laughs> Thank you for the sound effect, Shiner. So, Robert and I decided to move in together about two to three months after that. It was in March. March. It was the very end of March. 
um, that we had decided we were going to live together and we found a place to live because my condition was I was not going to live in the same apartment that he was living in. We were going to find a new apartment complex to move into together. So we moved into the apartment complex that we're in now and realized that we could have Shiner at this apartment. So I waited a couple weeks before I even said anything to him about it because I knew that he was still pretty upset about not having Shiner. Um, the day that he found out that he couldn't get Shiner was kind of a hard one. He was kind of mopey all day and then I just didn't bring it up because he didn't want to talk about it. So about two weeks in, I got an email from the shelter because I was also a foster for Paw's shelter and um, they were trying to get dogs out of the shelter because they were trying to do some renovations. So they needed to get some of the bigger dogs out. And I thought, you know, this would be a good time for us to hang out with Shiner, but I didn't really want to do it and then make Robert upset. So then the idea popped into my head, okay, what if we adopt Shiner? Shiner lives with me at my apartment, which didn't care about pets and their weight limit. Shiner lives with me at my apartment until we move into this new apartment and then all is well. So I um, was at work and Robert was at work and I messaged him on Skype because we use Skype at work. And uh, I said, hey, how would you feel? I think I basically like touched it gently like, they need to get dogs out of the foster, I mean, into fosters, and how would you feel about us fostering Shiner and then possibly doing a foster to adopt Shiner? And then he could live with me and then move in with us. He was, of course, totally fine with it. He was actually really excited about it. So I said, well, let me go ahead and email the owner of the shelter just to make sure that we haven't burned any bridges when we told them, you know, oh, we really want this dog, and you put in the application, but then we couldn't take him. So I emailed Sunny, who is the... Um, owner of the shelter and she emailed back within like 15 minutes and said we would love for you to foster Shiner and possibly foster to adopt. We'd love to see our dogs go to great homes. We know that because you're a foster that you would be a great home for him. Come pick him up anytime. Okay so that afternoon I got off work a little bit early or I didn't get off work early but I got home from work a little earlier than usual. So I said I'm gonna go get him now. I was planning on getting him that weekend. It was like a Wednesday. I said no I'm gonna go get him right now. Tuesday. I was in physics lab. <clears throat> Tuesday. And so I had to take Shotzi so that Shotzi could meet Shiner, but we got there, picked up Shotzi and Shiner, and I forgot my wallet because I was supposed to pay for him that day. I forgot my wallet, and I thought, oh my gosh, I was going to surprise Robert. I hadn't told him that I was going to bring him home that day. And they said, you know what, it's totally fine. you got to come back tomorrow anyway to get something. I think he needed to get his checkup or something, um, so we'll just get it from you then. So I brought him home, and I ended up telling Robert that I had picked him up then, and something actually pretty funny happened on the way home. I kept calling Shiner's name and he wouldn't even respond or act like he could hear me. So we get back home and I'm like, Robert, I think that, I think that Shiner's deaf. Like he's, he's not responding. I don't know what's going on. So then Robert. Well, I started, you know, talking to him, whatever, and whistling and he, he does respond. He's just got selective hearing and chose to ignore her for the entire ride home. <laughs> he still does that all the time. So as you can tell, we were super excited to get Shiner then. He was over the moon. Like, Shiner could do anything, and he was like, oh my gosh, look what he did. And he, you could just tell that he, like, loved the crap out of this dog. Shiner is so goofy. We love Shiner and how goofy he is. He's currently sitting behind the camera on the ottoman like it's his throne. Uh, he's just the funniest dog he talks. Uh, he'll like moan at you and groan at you when he doesn't want to do something and he lets you know when he's got to go to the bathroom or something. He's just super funny. Yeah, he's he's real funny. Um, he <laughs> he doesn't like to go in his crate. We crate him up during the day when I'm at work and uh, Mallory's at work. We tried not to, but he goes through the trash. He, he likes to paw through his way through the trash. Um, and so he earned himself, you know, time he earned himself hard time so it's funny in the mornings you know i get up because i gotta go to work at seven um so i get up you know 6 15 6 20 ish you know get ready real fast and then i you know he comes downstairs with me i take him outside and then i get my stuff together and then i head out and then um well you're there for it you i go. usually crate him normally he stays downstairs because i feed him whenever i come downstairs well, lately he's been deciding that if he goes upstairs, he doesn't think I'm going to come up there and get him and put him in his crate. So the other day, both of us were home, and I said, yeah, he's doing it again. He doesn't want to come downstairs, and I'm not walking all the way up there to get him. So our dogs naturally go crazy when you knock on the door or ring the doorbell. So I knocked on the door. Well, that little sucker got smart, and he didn't bark, and he didn't come downstairs. So I said, i got to pull out the big guns. 
So I said, watch this, Robert. I opened the door and rang the doorbell, and he goes, woo, 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 and comes running down the stairs, gets to the landing, and realizes, ah, oh, I've been had. <laughs> and so we had to, like, bring him downstairs after that, but we have to get smart with getting him into his crate nowadays. Yeah. But he loves, like, what are some of his favorite things? Well, he likes to chase tennis balls. Um, especially like my parents live out on some property and so I can take you know the long you know chuck it throwing arm and just you know throw them as far as I can and he'll just run and run and run to chase them he loves doing that all day long him and Shotzi have that in common yeah um, he has a rope toy he likes a lot to chew on and play with but the scary thing is he'll bite in the middle of it and then shake it around a lot with his head and that's when everybody scramble for the doors because it's heavy and it's scary when he's when he's waving that around he knocked me in the eye one time and i didn't know whether i should laugh or cry because it hurt so bad but it was like so funny yeah i did both yeah um he also likes actually to go swimming in the river surprisingly enough um he's mm, part lab part pit bull um he's he's really sweet and docile he doesn't you know he's not aggressive at all um, but, you know, my previous dog, Midnight, was, was also a mutt, sort of, um, but he didn't like water at all. You couldn't get near Midnight with a, you know, kiddie pool. pool. Yeah, exactly. But Shiner, you know, he throw the tennis ball in there and he just, you know, graciously legs out and then flops in the water. Not gracefully. <laughs> Not gracefully. <laughs> Depends on your definition of gracefully. He, like, For him, go that's... in the water. Okay, yeah, that's true. What does he hate? Uh, he doesn't like being in his crate, he doesn't like going to the vet, and he hates having his nails trimmed, which we have to do fairly often because, you know, he's a big dog and they grow. And he also have a, has a habit of putting his paw on you when he wants something, and then if you're not paying attention, he'll sort of like dig his paw in and his claws really hurt. Yes. So we, we have to keep him trimmed or it, it's painful. Yeah. But that's our shiner. So we love our Shiner, but we also love you guys. We thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and then hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified for whenever I post. I post every Monday and Thursday. I do post vlogs that actually show what I'm doing throughout the day, what we're doing throughout the day, but my Thursday videos are typically sit-down videos where I do informational story times, things like that. If there's something you'd like to see, please put that in the comments down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you, and God bless you.